Welcome everyone. My name is Dave. I'm a full stack developer and this is my approach to a Node.js constructor word guess game. This is an assignment for a coding boot camp that I am attending. This is all made in JavaScript and uh, Node.js. I will be using Inquirer as the NPM package installed. Uh, there are a list of criteria and requirements to follow. Uh, the game should receive user input. There should be a minimum of three files used. Uh, letter.js, which contains the letter constructor. Word.js would depend on the letter constructor and creates the word object. And then the index.js, which contains the logic for the course of the game and uses the word.js file. Other criteria will include that the letter.js should not require any other dependent files and that the word.js should only require the letter.js dependency and index.js depends on word.js to randomly select a word and use the word constructor to store it. And then we use a prompt for the user guesses and track the remaining guesses. So that's what we have to do to meet the requirements of this project. So let's begin. Okay guys, we have uh, cloned the repository from my GitHub here, as you can see with this code. And the folder has been created with the readme file. We're gonna install Inquirer. This way it'll set up uh, the Node.js. NPM Inquirer. Oops, the package comes up. It gives you an installation code here. Just copy that. So now I will install that package within the folder. Node is now installing the package. Okay, now that we have our three main files made here, I'm going to go ahead and clean up our area by using the clear command. Let's go ahead and open up our letter.js. We'll begin by creating our letter constructor. So I'm going to begin with a function called letter. There we go. Okay, we're going to need a function to make a string that will determine the spaces and the blanks. F. Now this will, this determines our guest, true or false, and this determines our blank and underline. We're going to need to make the guess. So let's try something like this. Uh, one more thing we do have to do for this constructor to work is export it so it can be used in our word.js file. So we'll go ahead and put that there. We'll save it. And now we will move on to the word.js. We're going to go ahead and open up our word file. Let's see, the letter. So we're going to need to build our answer, creating an object array. So let's start there. We'll do a function.
call it something. This is also a constructor, by the way. And we'll call it answer. answer. Okay, so we're going to start with the object array. Okay, we're going to first create a for loop that will create a letter variable from our letter constructor and push the letter to the object array. Okay, next we create uh, the log function, which will display the data in the terminal. Uh, yeah, let's call it that. We'll call it an answer log. We'll equal that. We'll use a for loop here loop through the object array length now. A function that will use the input parameter. Why don't we do this? Dot user Okay, one last thing we have to do for the word file, word.js file is console.log, uh, the answer log with the line break. Uh, this file is ready. We will move on to the index.js. So next we have to create our logic in the index.js file. Start by making your required connections. Okay, so now we have those connected. We need to set up our variables and our arrays. Let's get that started. Save that. Okay, and this variable is an array that's going to hold the words that are being guessed, which is the United States. Let's start entering all 50 states, basically. Next, I'm going to create the random loop. So we're going to start with a variable, random index. And now we'll go ahead and create the random word variable um, that is created from the United States random index above. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make the computer word. So computer word will be made from the word constructor, uh, thus making a random word. Okay, next we will set our required new word with a boolean false. I guess we'll make an array for correct and incorrect letters, right? So, okay. 
Okay, now we need to create the variable that sets the guesses to 10. We're going to create our main function that handles all the logic. First of all, it's a function. Okay, within this function, uh, we're going to go ahead and start with an if statement that will generate the new word uh, from the word constructor. It selects random United States array. Uh, we're going to save this here. We're going to set up the array that holds the, the word that's complete. Let's start by creating a variable called word complete. And that will equal, give that a space. And now that we have our then created, because it's an if statement here, we're going to add an else here. Now up in here, we have to determine all of the handling of the input. Okay, so our, for our first if statement, we're going to determine if a letter is not included in the user input array. Uh, next, we're going to add an else statement here. And we're going to create an if statement that will handle the guesses. Okay, now we're going to add another else statement here and create a way to uh, check if the word is guessed correctly. So at this point, we're going to need to make this word check function here. I think I'm going to have to put it here. So now we'll make an if statement. And here we are going to do the word check array join. Just outside of that, we need to call it. Right there. And here we're going to add another else for the correct, which is what I forgot.
Next, we need to print out our guesses for the letters guessed and the guesses left. We will do that right underneath this right here. Now, from this point, we need to handle the guesses left. Okay, I think we're going to need to add a word check key. And I think it goes there. Add the word check function here. File save. To create the restart game function, which we'll use Inquirer to uh, give you a choice to continue to play or uh, exit the game. Let's go ahead and make that. Okay, now we're going to extend it with the then. And for it all to work, you have to call it right there. Okay, now that we have completed our three pages, we're going to go ahead and give it a test. And if all works, we should uh, be able to play a word guess game of the United States, all lowercase at this point. So we will go node, index. It's asking me uh, for letters, so A, no, E, there's one, I, O, and U. So notice how when I make a guess, uh, if it's incorrect, it'll add it to the letters guessed. And if it is correct, it'll add it to the ar empty array. Only four guests left. Oregon. And there it is. There you go. It works. You'll be able to see this in my GitHub in the link below.